Hello, thanks for coming and joining me on my journey with Journey Time with Stampin' Up. And today I thought I would share a technique that I just love. Um, I don't know where I found it from. It originates from the fork bow, but this gives it so much more versatility. versatility. Um, this is called a cake breaker and they come in all kinds of colors and sizes. And I get mine on um, eBay a lot, or you may have one, or your grandmother may have one, but they used to slice cake and carry it out like that. But what I like it for is, because I have to do everything extreme, it's also just like a fork for the folk fork bows. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna take a piece of Stampin' Up! ribbon, and I put a tail right there, I hold this flat, and you have to start with numbers that can be divided by two. So my favorite for a card is a 10. So I count 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I go in right after the 10th, keeping an eye on it. Then bring this over and up over, and you go in the middle. So that would be five over. One, two, three, four, five. So if you can see, there's five on this side, five on that side. And then you simply bring this down the hole of the fifth. Pull it back up into the same center piece. I pull mine down towards the bottom. Fold it and pull them side to side. So just pull really tight, side to side. Then pull it off. And there you go, you have the perfect bow. Then simply cut the tails. And there you have the perfect bow. Take a glue dot, put that on your project. You know, it's just perfect every time. And you can get quick at these. I probably did that a little fast, but I'm gonna be doing it a couple more times. So um, follow along. We're gonna use a little bit of a skinnier one here. So I'm only gonna, only going to use eight times. So four, five, six, seven, eight, down and around into the middle one, which is right after the fourth. So one, two, three, four, then in. Pull it up in the middle, same hole. Put it down on your table. I always push it to the end so it has more strength. Tie your knot, pull side to side. And there you go, you have your little bow. Okay, now you can also just do it this way. Use a glue dot. And there again, you've got your perfect little bow. So. Okay, now, my area, which is not normal for me because I do explode. I'm gonna show you one other trick and that is the double bow. You can do triple bows and on and on. I'm gonna keep my tail, hold it with my thumb. I'm going to go, I think I'm gonna do 10 again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go down and around, and instead of going in the hole this time, I'm going to put it in the tenth round rung again. Bring it down, then go into the fifth, just like I would normally if I was doing a single one. Okay. Let me move my thumb. So I'm doing the same thing I would, only I went around twice. Pull it to the end, pull straight, and I'll go ahead and do this here. It's probably easier for filming anyway. Pull it off and then pull them apart. Okay. And you now have a double bow. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you can rewind it, start from scratch, slow motion it, do whatever you need um, to get it down pat. And then again, it's called a cake breaker. 
and I am Kathy with Journey Time with Stamping Up. Journeytime.stampingup.net. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.